It was rumoured that Toto Wolff could play a part in negotiating a deal between Ferrari Sebastian Vettel and Racing Point that will be rebranded as Aston Martin next year. This was in part due to the fact that Toto Wolff recently bought a stake in Aston Martin's car brand. Wolff has cleared the air about this. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, Wolff says Vettel would be an important marketing tool for Aston Martin. Wolf began by explaining how he is not managing any contract negotiations on behalf of Vettel. I am not involved in any conversations between Lawrence Stroll, Otmar and Sebastian. My shares in the car company have nothing to do with the Formula 1 team. He then reiterated the value Vettel would bring to the team from a marketing standpoint. Sebastian is a four-time world champion with a lot of speed and technical experience, and he would be an important marketing tool for Aston Martin. He then revealed that him knowing Vettel is not something rare in F1. Of course, I know Sebastian well, and I've met him a few times on social occasions, nothing more. And Vettel corroborated this previously. Everyone knows everyone in the paddock anyway, it doesn't take anyone's initiative to get in touch with someone. Wolf concluded by revealing the person who would be making the ultimate decision when it comes to signing Vettel. It is Lawrence's decision which pair of drivers is the best for his racing team. Fast Feed Red Bull team principal Christian Horner has revealed that any developments regarding the new Concord Agreement are a confidential matter. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko feels that the biggest advantage of the DAS system is that the tyres are much easier to warm up, so after a restart Mercedes now has a big advantage. He also suggested that if he were Ferrari he would put F2 driver Robert Schwartzman in the Alpha next year. Former Ferrari president Luca di Montezemolo feels that no other team is organised like this and added that Ferrari has to make brave decisions and do it quickly. Ferrari team boss Mattia Binotto said that F2 driver Mick Schumacher drives well, better than last year. It is important that he shows progress in his second F2 season. Haas team principal Gunther Steiner has revealed that they could handle a rookie. That is not an issue. Alpha Tauri team principal Franz Tost said that abolishing the radio doesn't make racing more exciting. And a Formula 1 spokesperson has revealed that they want to make a lasting change with regards to racism and are acting to do this. If Haas were to bring in a rookie, who should make way? Magnussen or Grosjean? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.